The hope of Jesus shines brightly even on our darkest day. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Randy Kilgore. In January 1915, the ship Endurance was trapped and crushed in the ice off the coast of Antarctica. The group of polar explorers, led by Ernest Shackleton, survived and managed to reach Elephant Island in three small lifeboats. Trapped on this uninhabited island, far from the normal shipping lanes, they had one hope. On April 24, 1916, 22 men watched as Shackleton and five comrades set out in a tiny lifeboat for South Georgia, an island 800 miles away. The odds seemed impossible, and if they failed, they would all certainly die. What joy then, when more than four months later, a boat appeared on the horizon with Shackleton on its bow, shouting, Are you all well? And the call came back, All safe, all well. What held those men together and kept them alive over those months? Faith and hope placed in one man. They believed that Shackleton would find a way to save them. This human example of faith and hope echoes the faith of the heroes listed in Hebrews 11. Their faith in the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, kept them going through great difficulties and trials. As we look out upon the horizon of our own problems, may we not despair. May we have hope through the certainty of our faith in the one man, Jesus, our God and Savior. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8 through 16. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. People who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had the opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He has prepared a city for them. That's today's scripture reading from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8-16. through 16. Let's pray together. Thank you, Father, for the promise of forgiveness made possible by Jesus. May that promise lighten the darkest of our days. It's in our Savior's name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.